Hey, good morning, guys. This is Ty from AsaKicks.com. And a few days ago, I shared an article about the number of pairs made of the Jordan 1 Obsidian. So if you've missed it, I will encourage you to click on the link or just go check my other YouTube uh, video. I, t I talked about it and uh, I figured um, 90,000 pairs were going to be in production. So you may want to read the article if you get a chance. All right. But the thing that came out of it is this. Like this is a shoe that a lot of people want. So that means that a lot of the bootleggers are going to target this sneaker. That means they're going to be making bootlegs and you need to be careful. Now, I don't have an authentic pair on hand. So to do a side by side comparison, I have to lean on pictures that I've fetched on online. Like notably, like I found some authentic eBay sellers and I take their pictures and I do a side by side for you guys. Again, this is just a preventive method. This is not like the all and be all. This is not an exhaustive comparison. So do check other people's stuff. I'm just trying to help you and give you some quick tips to, to use in case somebody's trying to offer you a pair online and you're not really sure what to look for. All right. So the first thing you want to look at again when it comes to these sneakers is the height. With the ones, a lot of the bootleggers just can't get the height right. Like I'll open the picture here for you guys and I want you to look at it. Now, if you look, I put a line there on purpose. Now, again, these pictures were the same size, and the size of the fake one is a size 12, and the size of the authentic is a size 10 and a half. So you, you, you'll be like surprised to see that the size 12 happens to be shorter as far as like the, the height of it. So you can see the, I put the yellow area here to show it to you. All right. Now, another thing is this. You want to look at the, the color. Now, both of these shoes were taken outside. So I'm assuming that lighting doesn't really affect uh this compare uh this 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 um floor that i'm about to show you because if they are both taken outside the lighting should be the same and the color and the shade should be the same but i feel like the authentic pair is a lot lighter i could be wrong on this so don't focus so much on that i'll show you better things to look for all right now again the height look at the height between the strap here and the liner on the authentic pair it's, it's, uh, it seems to be bigger and the fake one is like shorter so again that indicates that the shoe is really short now, the next thing I want you to look at again is I give you a better picture of the, uh, of the strap. So you can see before I get to this one. Actually, let's just focus on this one here. Now, the Wings logo, they always seem to mess that up for some reason. On the fake one, the letters are, first of all, the craftsmanship is poor. The letters and the shape are bigger. You can see, like, on the authentic, it's a lot, like, smaller and thinner. But on the fake one, it's a, it's a lot bigger. And then the craftsmanship is just awful. You can see the shapes, the, the curves, the lines. Everything just looks different. Look at the ball here. Look at the ball. And look at this ball. See, again, this is thicker. This is smaller. The lining here are thinner. All right? So focus on that. Look at the A. Look at the I. Look at the R. Look, look at this one here. The R has a funny shape. And that, they're going to always mess that up. All right? And the next thing you want to look at is... um. This here is like another piece that I want you to focus on. On the fake pairs for the most part, the Nike Air logo on the inside liner, on the sock liner, is always going to peel off as soon as you step your foot in there. Why? Because I'll show you a picture here. This is uh, the authentic um, Jordan 6 um, bread. You see the Nike Air logo here? The ink that they use is not a cheap ink. It's not in there. Like this one is not going to come off. Look at this one here. As soon as you put your foot in there, that thing is going to peel. If you've ever seen a pair of fakes, that's going to happen. It's bold, it's shiny, and it's a cheap ink that they use. I think they're pretty stupid. If I was making fake, I would have done a better job of that. All right? See, this is the same print that they use, the same inks. That's going to come off right away. So this is one of the telltale. If you see this a telltale sign, if you see this, just stay away from it. That ink right there is cheap. And it's, it's kind of like shiny. And as soon as you put your foot in there, that thing is going to peel off. All right, next thing we want to look at is the production date. Now, here's the thing. This is not really a sign sign, but if you see anyone that's in your shoe that has this production date, stay away from it. The 2619, 419, that means the shoe was produced between February of 2019 and April. That's too early. So Mike, Nike may have done it at that time, but that's too early. Stay away from it. Now, a few weeks ago, I was writing an article, and I scanned this on the... Uh, the QR code, and he actually took me to Nike website. So they fixed that up. They fixed that up already. So don't don't even focus on that. So that's why I didn't want to mention it. But there's another thing that I want to show you guys, which is important. But before we get to it, let me show you the label. 
Now, this is the authentic pair. You see the letters, the lettering here? See how nice these letters are? Look at the one here. That just like looks sloppy. And then the label on the fix is always, almost for the most part, always like snow white and pale. Look at it. On the authentic, it's more like off white. And look at the position of the R. Like the label is covering like basically half of the R on the fake, on the fake pair. You can see that, right? Look at the R over here. And look at this one. They're supposed to be the same size, so technically everything's supposed to look the same. Now, if you zero in on the made in China, look at this. It's sloppy. The 12, the 46, everything is just sloppy. The letters and everything just doesn't look right. So focus on that. And the next thing we want to talk about is the this one here. That's the most important portion. No, not this one. This is important because I talked to a guy that actually knows a lot about this uh, this stuff. Now, this is called an R. RFID uh, chip. So what it has it on the fake one, you can see it's right there. It's just printed on it. It's just a logo. It means nothing because if you look at this yellow portion here, there's a little bump. That bump, like the label is covering this chip and it's embedded in this chip is a unique identifier. That means if you take this shoe to Nike, they'll be able to tell you that this is an actual Nike sneaker. On the fake one, you don't see that bump in there. There is no bump. There's no chip. And even if there was, it would not match what Nike is trying to do. Because what I'm trying to say is this. This chip here, if you rip that label, it's going to destroy the chip. But in that chip is an identifier that tells you exactly the provenance of the shoe, the origin of the shoe. Where is that coming from? On the fake one, you can see there's no bump. You see this line over here? No bump over there. Even if it's behind here, there's no bump. That means they just put that logo there to try to fool you. That's one of the things that you need to focus on big time because that's a game changer. That little bump there, that little chip, if all the sneakers that Nike is bringing out have that chip, it's over because now you're going to be able to, to tell your shoes is legitimate. Now, if you see a shoe with a label like this with an RFID logo and does not have that bump, don't even bother with it. Don't even buy it. The fake one doesn't have it, so be careful. Now, I came across this guy that has a website uh, that actually shows you some other things that you can look at. I don't know his name, but... You know, this is good stuff. I read it. It's a good information. Now, on the ones, for the most part, you see here, that star, this is the authentic pair. You see the fake one? You can tell the difference. This this is more pronounced on the authentic. And there's another thing that he shows that I think is important to mention, which is uh, not this label, not that, uh, not the perforations. There's a couple of things that I want to show you here, and that's it. It's only one thing that I, I felt worth uh, that it was worth mentioning. Uh, this here, let me scroll up and show it to you. This, you see, this is the authentic. You see how it's well defined? The fake one is sloppy. It's a little like just bold and the letters are bigger. All right. So that's what you want to focus on when you do this thing. Now, if you, again, I don't have an authentic pair on hand, so I'm just using preventive method. I just want to help you guys out real quick, real quick. So if you want an authentic pair, I have some links on the website here. You can buy from these guys. They are selling authentic or just go on StockX. Again, click on here. But uh, again, this is not an exhaustive uh, list. So use it with discretion. And if it helps, share it. If it doesn't, let me know how I can improve this. All right. Thanks for watching. This is Typhoon Master Kicks. And stay tuned for more stuff.